Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, uh, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the uh, elder bishops out there to the uh, four corners of the globe, pushing his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the uh, Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say uh, shalom to your Akim now there. And this is a, uh, another sit down lesson on this uh, January the 18th, 2022. On this uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday night, I meant to say. And I'm about to bring out this uh, another news article for the sit down lesson for tonight on this Tuesday and this is from News Weekly and this is on msn.com and the highlight of this news article and it says China, Russia and Iran team up for joint Navy exercise drills and it says Russia has said it will take part in a joint Navy exercise with China and Russia as scrutiny grows over Moscow's military maneuvers following a buildup of troops next to Ukraine border. It says uh, the announcement comes only days after Moscow, Moscow says it would conduct a snap combat readiness inspection of his troops in the uh, Russian Far East, amending growing alarm in rural, rural ca capitals over the prospect of an invasion of Ukraine. Last week, talks between Russia and the Western officials failed to yield a breakthrough to calm fears about the Russian military presence. <laughs> On its border, the Kremlin has repeatedly denied it plans any extrusion into its neighbors. On Tuesday, the Russian Defense Ministry said that detachment of its Pacific Fleet has entered the port of the port in Kabara in Iran's. Balishkin, if I pronounce that right, Providence. The vessels are the missile cruisers of Var Yigi, the large anti submarine ship Amaya Trabuts, and the sea tanker Boris Botoma, Botoma, which has set sail from the Vad Voskos at the end of 2021. The joint time drills in the Persian Gulf dubbed uh, CRIRU has been announced August 2021 of last year by the Russian ambassadors to Tehran Levin. The Saharan has been planned to take place in late 2021 or early 2022, as Russia and China continue to increase their military cooperation. In uh, right, that's how Russia told Russian state media that the drills were aimed to ensure international shipping safety and combating piracy missions repeated by ABCs on Tuesday, but that comes at, as the former top NATO commander, Curtis Mike uh, Scott Escape Tarati, said that Iran and China will be closely watching how the U.S. handles the Ukraine crisis. And he told uh, in online 
formed, sponsored by the Korean American Organization, the ICAS, that Russian flowed Russian forces in Bolivia boarding Ukraine and NATO countries Poland, Latvia, and Lithuania pose a threat to Europe. There was also the prospect of Russia might seize the trip. The script of a landing connecting Russia with Crimea with the exodus in 2014. Back then, you know, from uh, Ukraine, and it says such moves are connected and with informed Xi Jinping and Iran on what to expect from the uh, U.S. if Beijing escalate tensions over Taiwan. I mean, Taiwan, and uh, Taiwan does the same in the Middle East. Uh, Scott Park. Uh, said last week the U.S. Navy Institute reported it says Putin will brief his Chinese counterpart Zing about the talks he held last week with NATO when he visited China in February to attend the opening ceremony of the Beijing Winter Olympics Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Poliskov said last week the uh, Russian Defense Ministry announced military exercises in the Far East were extended to exceed to, to access the readiness of the troops to carry out missions as required at the regrouping at far distance across the Russian territory was reported. It says the Bolivian president Alexander Lukashenko also said that Russian forces and equipment have started to arrive in western Bolivia. He has said the joint exercise. Uh, the, I, mean, I meant to say uh, he has said the joint military uh, exercises will start in February by the borders of NATO members Poland and Lithuania as part of uh, Operation Allied Resolve. Russian Defense Military Ministry say, has also announced that live fire drills involving over 2,000 troops are taking place in the Northwest Lee Grain region. It says the Army's Western Military District announced troops will use a 10 I mean, a T-72B3 tanks and practice with AGS-17 automatic grenade launchers and RPG-7V handheld anti-tank grenade launcher and the AK-74M assault rifles task reported. So, you know, this, uh, you know, a quick review of, of what I've read this article, you know, uh, China, Russia, Iran, you know, they taking up doing joint exercise, Navy drills, then along with, you know, already, you know, just days after uh, this right here of Russia, concerning Russia, you know, now, you know, Russia is teaming up with uh, China and Iran doing, you know, joint Navy uh, exercise drills, and then you know uh, Russia is gonna do. That's why they uh, Russia deploying troops in Belarus, which is the western border of Belarus. They're gonna do uh, uh, war games with uh, Belarus, you know. So you know these are the uh, signs of times that we are living in. That's why these troops. And of these uh, countries are, you know, doing these joint exercise military training and joint Navy exercise drills as well, too, because they've been doing this all year of 2021. Now they're starting to heat it up back again in the year 2022. You know, this is our signs of the times that we are, you know, preparing for World War Three, And I would bring out a scripture for that as well, too. 
first I'm gonna bring out the uh, Rumors of Wars first, and then I'm gonna bring out the uh, Revelations. This is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall have wars and rumors of wars. See, be ye not true, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdoms. And there shall be famine, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. And all these things are the beginning of sorrows. Right, because one state do all these military trainings, these novel exercise drills, and they gearing up, preparing for war just in case if anything goes down. Because it's going to happen in your way, you know. And these are the beginning of sorrows, and a lot more things, and, more, and a lot more upcoming biblical prophecies is coming as well too, you know. And this is the book of Revelations, chapter 11, verse 14, through the whole scriptures and the reads, because we are, you know, definitely living in the book of Revelation is definitely for sure especially throughout the year 2021 now things are heating up in the year 2022 because you know you've been seeing so much activity of different many get of many different categories been going on in the world for the past two weeks two and a half weeks you know in the year 2022 because this is the year of 2022 of Yao Bashi Shah is turning up and turning up the heat on things you know and the second world was passed, and behold, the third world come quickly, right? Because we already know the second world was passed already. Now we are in the, f now we are in the steps in the process, and all the puzzles are starting to fit together. Of an upcoming World War Three is, you know, it's imminent and it's it's about to come very soon, you know. Because our, because everything is starting to come together, you know. Because you got the. Uh, the Russian Ukraine situation. And then you got the United States concerned about the Russian Ukraine situation. The United States is concerned and they use hard economic sanctions on North Korea, using the missile launches, launch ballistic missile tests on that. And then you still got the tensions between the South China Sea. You got Japan over there. You got the United States over there. You know, you got Beijing over there got China over there so it's, it's a lot of many different activities that's going on around the world and then you got the uh, the Yemen the Houthi rebels that situation over there those are uh, nations rise against nations and kingdom against kings you know and then you got the situation over there in Israel continuously with the uh, Israelis going against the Pac Palestinians that situation of the you know of the nations to rise against nations those are many of examples you know that's war wars continually going on in the world you know still got situations going on in Syria the Lebanon border over there you know Yemen the southern the southern part of Yemen you know the Houthi rebels and the uh, Saudis coalition going at it with each other because, you know, recently, uh, I think the Houthi rebels, they claim responsibility. It was about a day or two ago. And they uh, there's some airstrikes, drone attacks over there, uh, over there in the United Arab Emirates over there. Because they carry their attacks from the southern region of Yemen. And they carry all the way over to the United Arab Emirates. And then, you know, the Saudi, Saudi Arabia Arab Coalition. You know, they uh, did a response attack on them over there in that region. I believe they bombed, they bombed their uh, target areas where they've been having it. Because, you know, these uh, Houthi rebels, they like an Iran uh, ally military group. Because they allies with Iran, you know, and these Houthi rebels, you know. And the Houthi rebels and the uh, Saudi Arab coalition... You know, they've been at war with each other since 2015, all the way until now. So, you know, uh, 
So, you know, a lot of things, a lot of many different things been going on, you know. And we are in the uh, signs of the times of uh, World War Three. It's going to be all out throughout the whole world, you know, as you're seeing it right now, you know, on a uh, on and off basis. Sometimes it might cool down and then it's going to heat up again. Because especially in the time we're living in right now, A, it's going to increase and intensify. You know, the war, the wars and rumors of wars are starting to come in reality. That's going to increase uh, between these many ne uh, many different nations at it, at, it, at it with each other, you know, in the World War Three, And that's definitely coming this way, too, because you're seeing the signs in the steps of all the puzzles fitting together of the upcoming World War Three is coming very soon. We seeing that right before our eyes, you know. And uh, with that, I hope this sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha. And uh, first and foremost, let us give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Sha Bashem Karkadash. Uh, double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching his word, truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elder bishops, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shalom.